Hello and welcome back to the Nauseating Nurgleites. We are uh, kind of doing a suicide run against the dwarfs. I only call it suicide run because we're taking 12% attrition every single day. Uh, and our manpower isn't quite enough to regain it. Although we did just wipe out a 6,000 stack. So this is going pretty well. We're marching on their capital and the goal is we'll just siege down their capital as quickly as we can. And then hopefully capture their leader and then subjugate the entire realm. Uh, we have a niece. Okay, fine. Right, we don't have enough men to... We don't have enough men to siege. Oh no. Oh no. As anywhere nearby, not wasteland. Wasteland, wasteland. All of this is wasteland. Can we get back here? This is winter. Um, the way over... That's too far away to get over here. I was trying to see if there's a place where we can regain our men. Well, we'll see. We'll wait a month and see if we gain any men. Uh, Ooblet, definitely. I think we just regained it. We didn't lose any men, but we didn't gain any men. That's a little unfortunate. Maybe there's somewhere else we can siege? Like, how many men do you have? Oh, you have a really small garrison. We'll head over there. Hopefully we can just siege that. That'll work out for us. Siege down the smaller holdings and then maybe, uh... That will give us enough war score to win. Given that we did win, uh, I think that one fight was worth 40, yeah, 48% that battle was worth, so it's alright. Alright, come on, let's make it to the city. Hopefully we don't get wiped out on the way there. Uh, the influence of chaos is very strong in the province of Karmi. The great portal is attracting everything uh, towards it and seems to have, and uh, things start to fall up rather than down. Hold tight. Morale of armies has gone up in that province. I can't stop thinking about all those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them to hear their sweet screams to see the panic in their eyes. Uh, we'll, we'll oil up the rack, definitely. That's fine. We can siege this one down. That's working. Um, people inherited lands. Okay, open council position. We need a new chancellor. You're not the one leading my armies, right? No. You can do. Definitely. Uh, you can improve clan sentiment with the clan who likes us the least, who is... This one. So we'll just switch you on to doing that. Child likes a guardian. We'll educate you with... Uh, with the person who doesn't like us the most. And we'll call in our ally. You'll likely look like. We'll call him in anyway. That's fine. Siege this down. We are taking a lot of attrition each day, but that's fine. We can, if we can siege it down, that'll be good. My wife is pregnant. Okay. Cool. We're not actually losing any men. Well, we lost 100 men there. That's not too bad. We could be losing 10,000 men. Why are we wanting to imprison our half-brother? Because he wants to kill us. Um, You know, I actually quite like being alive right now, so no. Thank you. We're champion of Nurgle now. We may be dumb, but we are also a champion of Nurgle. Um, I thought I wonder if there's. I saw some sieges happening up there. No, there are some of our men, like some of our allies' men, are coming down to help us. So maybe that will be good. Let's uh, see how much we need to. Uh, actually, how far away is he from peace? Uh, he's only one tick. That's not too bad. Uh, wonderful. They like us. Um, okay, we took over that province. Is that enough? No, nope. I was wondering whether it was just you haven't taken my land yet kind of stuff. Uh, we'll assault it because we'll take less attrition from assaulting than we will from sieging. Um, losing but I won't give up yet. Just keep sieging it down then. Get our war score. Um, yeah, just keep sieging. He's called someone else in. Overlord something of something. He only has 200 men. I'm not that worried. Um, I don't know what... I think this army's about to get killed by a 2,000 stack somewhere. Uh, 3,000 stack, sorry. Can't combine this pregnant. Good. Good. Fantastic. Continue sieging. Uh, where are the rest of my allies' troops? So we have some over here. Yeah, they're, they're, they're working their way down. Okay. This is just really far away. That's the problem. Just really, really far away. Um, bandits raided the siege camps. That means we got some attrition. These 300 men, I'd really quite like to come and join us. Excellent, they like us better. Auto save done. Where are you going? 
All the rivers and wells in his lands turned red, the water transformed into blood, its mere taste enough to send even the most peaceful men into a frenzy. Hmm. It says. Oh, we didn't choose a war horse. Oh, we should have done that a long time ago. Lightning. I was just seeing if there was anything here that looked interesting. Oh, we only have six prisoners left. I guess the rest of them have just been dying slowly. Okay. I thought we had 20 at some point. Alright. Oh, maybe they were the people we gave away from our capital. You could hardly believe what uh, what you heard when your wife, Ragnar, questioned your appearance openly. Now it looks like it won't even be the last time she, spout, uh, she, spout, she spouts shrouded insults to your looks. Oh, you can't deny that she's right. Oh yeah, we're going to get the best event in the game. Definitely. Uh, we have another son, Volgar. He is also bright. All of our children are very smart. Your wife's concerns uh, seems to be really with your health. Somehow she came up with the conclusion that you might be too lenient on yourself with your eating habits and that a more frugal diet could be beneficial to both your body and your mind. Really? She, she thinks I have a problem with my health? I mean, I only have a few diseases. Um, well, I, I do want to look my best. Definitely. We'll see how that goes. There's always the chance that she is improving us over time as well, which is nice. And uh, you cannot remember the last time you felt real hunger. Your perceptions of the world have grown soft and distant since Ragnar's honey words have helped you defeat your unhealthy eating habits. You often find yourself coming back after fainting, but it's all good to keep yourself in terrific shape. Um, we gain temperate. Hmm. All right, fine. Oh, they killed some men. That's the, that's the most surprising thing that's happened uh, this whole fight, uh, this whole war. They actually managed to kill someone. Um, I still want to offer peace. No. Nope. I want to win the war, so we're just going to keep sieging. We are losing so many men, though. And you look at your reflection once more, searching for imperfections. There's not many of them anymore. With the help of Ragnar, you've gained a body uh, any mortal will be jealous of. Sure, some may say you look a bit pale and shaky, but it's the, merely the price to pay for what you've reached. You should always be vigilant. We're now under malnourished. Okay, we're under malnourished. Perfect. Just where we always wanted to be. These 300 men feel like coming over here, or you don't... Oh, they are able to siege the province next to us, so I suppose that's fine. As long as they're doing something. Ooh, an army to fight. So they're going to arrive there on the first uh, Nakaheim 7. So we'll slow down time a little bit. Maybe just that much. So on the 30th of this month, I assume it goes to 30. Um, That should be fine. Right. On 30th is when we're going to move. Excellent. Uh, I really wish this would open a calendar if you opened it. Right, so we want to move from this province that we've been sieging into here. Perfect. That worked perfectly. Now what this does is it means that we will arrive on the first of whatever month. Oh, they're actually going to get out of here first. Weird. Um... I thought we would catch them because we were moving the day before they uh, got there, but I guess it was just so far away. History is a subject that has always fascinated you and you have spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of Emperor Sigmar. There are many lessons to be learned from his prowess in war. I perhaps too will march east someday or I should devote more time to studying this. Uh, we'll get studying strategy. That seems good. Let's head round in here. Should be able to catch this. Maybe 29th? We're going to get there on the 23rd? Good. That's fine. Uh, you would like to marry my courtier. Done. Right. Got to the army. This should be an easy win. I would hope. Yeah. That's an easy win. 74% war score. No, he doesn't want peace. We can assault down this province though. Cool. We might as well try and assault down some of the weaker provinces if there are actually a couple of weaker provinces around. Just get as much as we can in very quick assaults. That's a little too close. Wait, we should have a look. We can see how much they have before we get there. This one's good. He should have zero men left now. Uh, one of your low retinue warriors has approached you with a petition for aid. He says he lost his. He says his family lost several of their mares to illness. Now they're struggling to feed their children. You shall have six mares from my personal herd. Or unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we'll get some prestige. That's fine. Doesn't really matter too much, but we'll get the prestige. Right, we're going to uh, 
Gorblarbdar. Gor... Gorlabrar? Gorblarbrar. Right, we'll uh, salt this one down. Salt the next one down. 93% war score. Still doesn't want peace. Uh, how about this one? This one we can go to as well, I think. Maybe. Is there a better one? Doesn't look like there's much better one, so we'll just head to this one. We just want to take down the really weak ones. This It does, of course, mean that it's really easy for him to re-siege it, which is a little bit of a problem, but we can assault them down, which he can't do, so that's fine. Got a prisoner. Got 100% war score. Okay, auto saves take a long time. So they like us better. Okay. You ready? This is going to be fun. You know what we're going to do first, though? I'm going to save the game. reason we're going to save the game first is because the game regularly crashes when you take a lot of land. It, it does. Oh, also the music stopped after we saved it. Interesting. Enforce demands. Oh, it didn't crash. We can now settle as feudal as well, which is quite fun. In a couple of provinces, if we wanted to. Um. Wait. Oh, we can found a merchant republic. Wait a second. Your horde troops will be disbanded. You'll gain troops proportional to the land that you're banding on the step. Oh, okay. Oh, we also leave behind um, all the other clans' lands. Yeah, that's why we don't want to settle. Hmm, I don't know why the music stopped. It's a little bit odd. Um, we still have him in our prison. We have a lot of prisoners. We're going to ransom all of our prisoners if we can. That's fine. We don't have to give away any more men. This is one vassal underneath us. How does he feel about us as a whole? Um... He's not that he's not that big a fan, all th all things told. What if I say wanted to imprison him? One percent chance. One percent. Okay, guess we're not going to imprison him, huh? Yeah, we don't want to f uh, settle at all. It doesn't seem good. Okay, I don't know why it's only these two provinces, either. That's a little bit weird. But now we can wander in this land without taking attrition. Fantastic. Let's go fight some more dwarfs. So you have 400 men. Perfect. You look like a good choice. The ransoms have been denied. Been denied. Okay. That's fine. Some of them accepted, didn't they? I guess we have to manually do these ransoms. Seems a bit odd, but we'll, we'll get the gold. Our men are also really quickly reinforcing now, given that we uh, are no longer taking 10% attrition each day. Should be going up for like 500 men a month, I would guess. Yeah, roughly 500 men a month. It's not bad. Hopefully we'll be almost fully reinforced by the time we get back here. How many men do we need to teach this? Oh, none at all. Good. Perfect. Uh, my half-brother is now of legal age. Um, he is... something. Uh, as he's certainly something. A skilled tactician. If nothing else. Maybe he can lead some armies? Yeah. Maybe. That's fine. Yeah, uh, you have a new heir. If we die, we will now play as this half-brother. Aha! That's kind of good, actually. I like it. He's a, he's a brilliant character. Uh, we want to find him somebody who's really good at something. Probably Marshall, because I think that increases... The state Marshall increases manpower recovery, if I remember right. So we want to choose somebody here. You'll do. You're a genius. Genius and brilliant together. Gets us an alliance. Perfect. You'll do. Definitely. Oh, I think they're max. They like us max. Uh, you need to like us more. Alter clan. Right, head back over here, and we'll head to Zardok. It's also nice that we got all this, we now have actual, we should have vassal levies, shouldn't we? We don't, we don't get vassal levies from these people? I feel cheated in a way. Wait, uh, oh, we don't get vassal levies because they don't have to give us any levy. Independent, wait, not these guys. You, why aren't you giving me levies? Um... Because laws mean that he has to give zero? And laws mean he has to give zero. So that'd be... 
Feudal levies. All right, yeah. We'll definitely have large. Yeah, we'll change that. Why do we have very, very low prestige? Hmm. Why did our prestige drop so much from taking that much land? Maybe the subjugation made it drop for some reason? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, educate child. Let's educate... Yeah, why, why not? Our half-brother can do it. That seems reasonable. This is a faction for independence. Um, no. Go away. Th that option doesn't appear to exist. Okay. We're almost able to do another chaos offering. Everyone knows I'm a big fat coward, says uh, this person. Oh no! Everyone told called me a coward. Their opinions. Oh no! Important decisions. Chaos offering. Definitely we're going to do a chaos offering. You ready? Chaos offering. Here we go. Papa Nurgle is always ready to dispense gifts to all those who are in need. All the same, he's happy to receive offerings from his own followers. A small offering to show my loyalty. Papa Nurgle has certainly accepted your present, but it could be that others are in greater need of his gifts than you. Don't worry, I'll wait for next time. Our prestige is really low. Oh, I don't like that. That lowers clan sentiment a lot. Okay. Well, we're almost at the mountain pass. We have a lot of men, though. That, that's our huge advantage, is that we have so many men. We're going to wait another month, as well, another couple months as well. Yeah, it's not a dangerous faction. It doesn't have a lot of our men. Uh, the world's dangerous place. Devious plots are everywhere. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Devious plots. We have 10 health. They're not going to kill us. We're just going to wait till we are roughly back up to full strength before we move on. The reason why this keeps popping up and down is because our army keeps reinforcing and he keeps getting his armies back. Also, we should now have feudal levies, right? No? Hmm. I don't know why he's not giving us any troops. That's a little odd. He should have to give us troops. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll definitely figure it out. Or we'll not and he'll, we'll just never get troops from him. That's the other option. Right, I want to declare war. Declare war? Wait, don't suppose you'll accept vassalization? No. Right, declare war. Um, where's my um, where's my chaos um, subjugation? Got invasion. Got subordination of land. Where's my chaos subjugation? Oh, I don't want to declare war if we're not getting uh, K Nurgle points. What about you? Can we do K uh, unholy subjugation? Nope, it's gone. It, it disappeared again. As fast as it was here, it's now gone. Yep, we can't do unholy subjugations anymore. Right now. Who knows? This is really weird. I don't know what causes, like, what the requirements are for that CB, but they seem to disappear an awful lot. Oh well, we'll keep moving. Beastmen have declared a war. We'll definitely call in everyone into that. Yep. I don't know why we can't raise vassal levies. Hmm. Maybe they we just can't have them. It's it's just that you can't have them kind of thing here, rather than anything else. Also, quite like to convert this high priest to our religion, but that, that's something we're just gonna have to work on. I would feel the ambition to have a daughter called Bermit. And we got some more tech points. Yeah, I don't think we actually get to use tech points. Because we've had that event a lot of times. And we don't seem to actually ever get tech. I don't, I don't think we're allowed tech. Just judging by the fact that we've never actually been able to upgrade our tech. Ever. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm just... Uh, maybe we've not been playing as long as I think we have. You want to kill me? You want to kill me? He does want to kill me. I'm tempted to let this one go through. Now hear me out. We are a champion of Nurgle. But we are also dumb as a post. Our martial skill is pretty low. Which means that we don't get as much manpower recovery as we could get. Timer, on the other hand, has super high martial. He's betrothed to somebody who's going to be a genius. Their children are going to be geniuses. I think this is a good thing for us. He's also a mutant. Uh, he's monstrous though, which means that he won't get... Oh, that means he won't be able to have children. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not okay with that then. We need chil We need children. End, end your plot. 
I'm not okay with not having any children. Actually, that means that marrying him to a genius was a little bit of a waste of the genius. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's really, I, I really, I still find these river crossings really weird in the mod. They're kind of cool. Like, yeah, the thing, the bits where you have to go for a certain province to cross the rivers. But, um, it is a bit weird. Um, when's a chaos speech level where it's much easier for the demon saints? Well, they're only moderately strong. Okay. Moderately strong. So they went down from strong. And we're almost all the way over here. Can we declare unholy subjugations yet? Nope. I guess we need to do another war to reset it again. I think that's what happened last time. We did a war and it reset it. Oh well. Um, my beak... Sh this person with a beak wants to be my steward. We have much better stewards. Um, I rule. Uh, we're going to now appoint this person as a steward. We could appoint um, the dwarf as a steward. That'd be fine. He is a chaos dwarf sorcerer. Oh -ho. We should use him while fighting. If he's a sorcerer. Uh, but we're going to put this person in charge, I think. Yeah. That makes sense. And he can now go and uh, collect taxes in our capital, which is... Oh, get, oh, that's not collect, that's tribute. Um, I guess he can collect taxes. He can collect tribute from... Um, this house. At random. You should also not be leading troops. You should be training warriors in our capital. And uh, I don't want to research cultural tech anymore. It doesn't seem to be working. We'll try and get you to convert the priest guy over here. That's fine. Right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do next. I'm probably going to try to take over some places. Uh, there's going to be a game restart between this episode and the next one, which means that we might get Unholy Subjugation back. Who knows? We'll see. Goodbye.